Mohamed Ali, GB Flyway, selected for the European Championships. How good does it feel to be selected for your, your second major tournament in, in rapid succession? Um, it's great that uh, uh, Rob and all the GB team obviously see me as number one and hopefully I can like, prove them right and hopefully win a medal and qualify for the Worlds. Were you being sort of, well, sort of appraised against Andrew Selby for this tournament? Do you know what the sort of the situation with him is? Um, no, I'm not too sure. Like, I've not seen him over here for, since I've been on the squad, like, so I'm not sure what he's just doing. OK, but you've just been focusing on, on your own training? Yeah, yeah obviously, like, I'm just trying to get myself into the best shape I can for the Europeans. And you just had the European Games, you won your first bat out there. Can you t well, talk us through what went right and then what went wrong when you, you lost? Um, well, the first fight I knew he was a good kid, Moldova and Sarko, um, won the European Championships before. So I knew he was a top kid, I just had to perform, and I did, and beat him comfortably. And then the second fight, I was starting off just getting into my stride, and like, I thought I was going to just get on top. But then, obviously, an uh, unfortunate head clash, and that stopped the fight. Okay, so at what point did, was it a cut? Yeah, it was a cut over my uh, left eye, so it's pretty bad, so I couldn't continue with that. And, and so they just sort of scored it on... Yeah, I think so I couldn't like continue, so they just stopped the fight and gave him the victory. So your kid, next kid didn't get by. Okay. I mean, how, do you feel, you know, obviously without the cut, it's hard to say. But what was your confidence like, and how far would you have been expecting to go in that in that competition? Well, like Italian won silver, and I thought I would have beat him comfortably. Like if second, third round, I thought I would have just started getting on top as my fitness kicks in later on. I go. And I, I was just so confident I would have beat him and just gone on and win silver, maybe gold. I knew I would have could have. And as a youth, you've won medals at the, at the Euro Youth Europeans, Worlds, Olympics. Mm. How did you find the step up to your first major senior tournament? Um, I just take on the Australia. Like, I just enjoy it. Like f I don't really find it much different. You just without head guards, you just have to obviously adjust your head like slightly and be a bit more clever, and that's about it not get caught with dash shots because no, there's no head guards. But other than that, I'm finding it comfortable. Like, they are men, seniors, a bit stronger, but just train harder than shouldn't make a difference. Have you found you've had to adapt your style as well for the seniors? Um, yeah, like, obviously I have to tighten up, don't take too much big shots with the bigger men, so like, just be a bit clever when I'm working my way in. Yeah, because those are risks you can't just try and walk through everyone yeah, at the senior yeah, level. Yeah, got to be careful. Yeah, and have you, have, you, have you had a look at the flyweights who are going to be out there at the European Championships and who are you expecting to be the, the toughest ones out there? Um, I'm not even really too sure. Like, I'm guessing the same guys at the European Games. Because like, my first, it's, well, second now, senior tournament, so I'm not even really too sure who's around the block. Okay. Well, Muhammad Ali.